have a piano tuned, a chef, and enough champagne to fill the Nile. Death on the Nile cocktail hour, shall we, Dawn? Well, it's never a bad time for a cocktail. <laughs> Lynette Ridgeway. That's Gal. Mysterious, dark. She could drink a French 75. What's in that? Gin, champagne and lemon juice. It's a lovely thing. And give you a bit of a kick at the glass at the same time, which Gal could do. Book, Jewel of the Nile. Ah! Which is sort of classy. Is he classy, Book? Yes, he is. Yes, it's just Tom who isn't. It? <laughs> Wonderful as ever. Rosalie Otterbourne, very sweet, and, and a Manhattan just sounds right. Sounds right for the period. Quite business-like, and she's certainly that. A woman can run her affairs as well as a man or better. Uh, I love that girl. Oh, Campari, something with a bit of bitterness. And there's a cocktail called The Last Word, which is a good cocktail for her because something a bit hip, hipster. It's a little bit Parisian as well, that, Something a bit alcoholic. <laughs> Be careful. It's too late. Bowers's. Oh, I think it'd be something quite fruity and it would be zingy. So it might be a sangria or something oh. like that. Like a sort of overgrown schoolgirl. <laughs> Three tears and a tiger from me. Yeah. <laughs> Marie, she's a communist. Very dry vodka martinis. And you might call it the tight lip. <laughs> It's bad enough we have to stay in this bourgeois nightmare of a hotel. Hercule Poirot. Oh, it'd have to be so precise for Hercule Poirot. Very exact. It is a problem, I admit. A hot toddy. A hot toddy! Little bit of whiskey, little bit of honey, and he could measure it exactly. There are seven. I cannot have the uneven number. God, this is going to be a pricey round. Cheers! Cheers, my dears. Yay!